dwellers, and welcome to the beautiful world of Pokemon. It's been a little bit of a while since the last Pokemon episode, and I do want to apologize, but we're continuing on our journey. I haven't abandoned the series, and let's just look at all the nice Pokemon that we've got along with us on the way. We've got Tadroid, the Lotad, Ballbuster, the Talo, Kipet, the Marshtomp, Slakisha, our HM slave, and uh, Miss Ninja, because she's a female Ninkata. I can't talk, the music's really loud. Okay, but um, anyway, we're in Slayport City right now. I'm sure most of you guys have already beaten the game by this point, to be honest, but so have I. I've played Omega Ruby um, and completely beaten it, but that makes this really easy for me to show you guys what's exactly going to happen for those of you who don't know what's going to go on next. I'll know where all the items and stuff are. It's really, really cool. And I really did love this game when I played it, uh, just a while ago, so let's, uh, there's the contest hall right here, and actually, if we go over here, yep, okay, here we go, hey, that's Lucia and Allie doing a shoot over there, are you serious, Lucia, let's go, man, those guys must really like Lucia, huh, oh, there she is, look at her, oh man, isn't she fabulous? Hi, everybody! Lucia here! Me and my Altaria, Ollie, have come to Slayport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun! Ali, Lili! Ali, Lili! Oh, that's what I'm gonna make. Oh, man. Well, then, watch me as I dive right in again today! Yeah! Dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying! <laughs> Wait, so they're. Mocking, like, uh, trying to be, like, do what she's doing, too. Dazzling, dizzying! OMG, here we go! Lucia's Miraculous Contest Scouting! Start! Lissy, scout me to be your boyfriend. <laughs> I forgot about that. Lucia, Ollie! Alrighty, I'm going to bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting! Eeny, meeny, miny. Obviously the main character, this guy. You there watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi. Have you ever joined in a contest? Oh, that's just what I wanted to hear. Oh, I'm on TV. Hi, Mom. Then let's get the show on the road. This is the trainer I'm going to scout today. And his name is... Caveman. When I took a good look, I can easily see that Caveman is a powerful trainer with several badges of his own already. Caveman, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon Contest Hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't just want to see you making your Pokemon strong. I want to see you bringing out a whole new brilliant side of them to show off. So here you go. Take these. It's a contest pet. Which is the first thing that anyone needs to take part in a contest spectacular! And this one is a Poke Block Kit, which you will let make you Poke Pocket Talk! <laughs> Poke Blocks for your Pokemon out of berries! I, I couldn't keep it up. It's too funny. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for the stuff, though, Lucia. I actually really like Lucia, though. She's a pretty cool character and actually a contest rival. Caveman's story begins today! Yup, and this chapter should be titled... A Sudden Encounter! Miraculous Contest Scouting! I'm not really good with titles. That's what I'd call it. Now everybody out there watching, you'd better expect great things from Caveman because I do! That's it for today's Lucia's Miraculous Contest Scouting! See you all next time! <laughs> Lucy, you're so cute! I like how the camera guy just walks off. If you love for it, try your hand in the- Oh, she's still talking. I thought for a second there, like, once the camera's gone, she'd like switch to a different personality. I was gonna go for that, but apparently not. She's still as high and lofty as ever. If you ever feel up for it, try your hand in a contest for me, okay? Tee hee! Creeps. Everyone else is like, eh, whatever. <laughs> so, we, we 
we can do contests now. Do you think we should go for a contest? You know what? I think we should. I think we really should. And we can show Lysia what's what. Let's go in here. Listen to that music. <laughs> oh, hi, Lysia. What's up? Oh, caveman! Thanks for playing wrong back there. I guess it was just quite the shock, huh? But don't mind that. Contests really are fantastic, you know? I'm sure you'll get hooked on them! Thanks. So who's, which one of you creeps was the one that asked the 12-year-old girl to be your boyfriend? Probably not you. I mean, I'm older than you. And you. Barely. Wait, are, is, are we the same height? Come here. Yeah, we're, we're, uh, you might be a little old. Maybe she's 13. Maybe she's 13. But did you, you're the one who asked, didn't you, creep? We'll see if all these performances are up on stage are amazing. They're unbeatable. Lizzie, give me your autograph, and I want Allie's footprint, too. That's not creepy at all. Well, if we're going to go into the world of being a Pokemon contest superstar, then let's go over here, go into my bag, and, uh, let's see. Got to get some potions, right? So, not, did I just say potions? Poke blocks is what I meant. Let's use the berries that I'm not going to use to make... Oh! Actually, wait. Did you already give me Poke Blocks? Hmm. Well, we can make some Poke Blocks here anyway. Let's do that. Start blending! Boop, boop. We got. Oh, good, actually. That's uh, the good Poke Blocks. You can get the regular ones, or we can get the ones that are plus, and they give you more. Boop. Like those. Those are just normal. Alright, so. If that's the case. What Pokemon should we enter in the contest? Hmm. Let's see. I want to use... Let me check the movesets of the Pokemon, actually. Because if we're going for it, you know, we might as well actually see who can do well in a contest. So we've got Tadroid here. Tadroid's a bro. But he, uh, he's cute. I don't want to use cute attacks. Ball Buster is cool. Yeah. Oh, Marshtop is both, or Kipet is both cute and tough. Yeah. Mm. So either Ball Buster or Tadroid. You know, I have to give it to Ball Buster. Unless there's someone over here. Oh, you can take pictures of Pokemon during the contest back to that, whatever. No one cares about that. I think we go up here, actually. Oh, yep. Lucia's right here. Hi, Lucia. Oh, caveman! Could it be? Oh, could it? Could it? Are you really going to try a contest for me? Oh, I'm happier with a gloom with a sunstone. <laughs> what? Oh, I know this chapter of your story should definitely be called. Whoop! My big beginning, a heart-pounding contest debut. That's what I'm calling it. Oh, but if you're going to take the stage, you've got to come here with me first. Where are you taking me, Lysia? This is my dressing room. So if you're taking on a contest spectacular, there's something you have to have for me. <laughs> I know it's sudden. Sorry. Truth is, you're actually the hundredth trainer that I've scouted, caveman. That's a really big deal, you know. Oh, I posed. It's gotta be fate, right? <laughs> I think you're just the trainer I've been looking for. Oopsies, so I got a little carried away. But uh, the point was, would you like to, well, do you think, uh, you, you want to wear this for your contest debut? Ooh, a costume. I, I, I just changed my clothes in front of this girl, and she's really happy to see that. Oh man, look how hot we are. S so, so cool. Oh wow, it's perfect for you! Yeah, I just can't wait! Your first time on a live contest stage, caveman! It's gonna be so, so, so awesome! I'm not gonna blink for even a second. Okay, I changed that. Phew, you look so fantastic in that outfit that I'm about to lose it here! I'm about to jump on you! You have to wear this contest costume! It'd be perfect for the contest! Promise! Yay! I'll be cheering for you! 
I'm sorry. I had to. I had to give her that kind of, kind of voice. I really hope you'll win. Oh, actually, it was decent and not very, like, bad. Whatever. Let's go. Let's go. Welcome to the Pokemon Contest Spectacular. It looks like you've brought your contest pass. Keep on trying until you become a contest star. Before we get some advice for first timers, during the contest, your Pokemon will show the audience just how lovely it is. First off is the introduction round. The appearance of Pokemon that have raised their coolest, coolest whatever, you know this. You'll be judged because of how cool you look. After the introduction round, it's time for the talent round. It's a competition to determine how well Pokemon can use their moves over the course of five turns. Use moves that match the condition of the contest to make the audience go crazy. If you catch the moves of the Pokemon that you want to put in the contest, you, I just said catch moves, but they're not Pokemon, they're moves. You can see that they're split into five different conditions, such as coolness and cuteness. If you're in a contest with the same title of that condition, you can use that move to appeal to the crowd. After you place first in a normal rate contest, you can win your way through the ranks. <laughs> Very well. Rediscover the charm of Pokemon. Welcome to the Pokemon Contest of Spectacular. Would you like to participate in the contest? Why? Not yet. I gotta shove some Pokeblocks down my Pokemon's throat. Let's just do it. Right now. So we're going to shove all these cool Poke Blocks down Ball Buster's throat. Ball Buster loves eating Poke Puffs. I can tell you that right now. So here we go. Yeah, that's right, Ball Buster. You gobble those down. Let's see. We're going to make Ball Buster the coolest Ball Buster around. All right. And then one more. For extra coolness. There we go. Alrighty, so now we've done that. Let's enter Ball Buster into the contest. What category do you want to. Um, cuteness. Okay, here we go. I just changed it to a contest costume right out in the open. It's great. All right, here we go. It's time for the coolness contest. Normal rank. Oh, Jeremiah and Makuwaku. Oh, look at Makuwaku. He seems pretty cool. Camden and Bolt. This is Bolt. Oh, an Electrike. Okay. All right. Next up, Gianna and Tailster. Hey, no, I'm the only one with Ball Buster. Come on. No, I'm the only Taylo in this contest. There can only be one, and mine's much better. Ball Buster, show them what's up. Oh, yeah, look at Ball Buster. <laughs> yeah. So, Ball Buster did that because it had the highest uh, cool stat than everyone else, which is nice. So we're going to start first. Ball Buster. Okay. Let's just use a wing attack. Boom. So, I mean, you guys probably know how this works. You do the move and then the star the hearts show up. And then uh, whoever has the most hearts kind of wins. Oh, bite. Is that cool or tough? Aw, oh, you jerk! It wasn't even a cool move! You just did that to screw with me! You jerk! Okay. Harry Lace. Whatever. You got this. I'm still gonna beat that Tailster. Ball Buster is obviously a better Tailo than Tailster, so it's gonna win. Ooh, he used Arm Thrust. That's a decently cool thing. Oh, actually, no, that was just, uh, just a regular... That was a tough attack. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Mmm. I'm in second place. There's no way that we can, uh... Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could check the attacks of the other Pokemon. That really helps. Um, well, I'm gonna be a jerk. I'm gonna use... Echoed Voice, because it's beautiful, and it'll actually drop down 
the the meter. <laughs> oh, you double team, huh? That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, yeah. Pretty cool. Too bad that star is going away. Echoed voice. Yeah, look at that. Oh, it didn't. It's not the opposite. Well, that's kind of a bummer. The smelling salts. Uh, ooh, no, just tough. Okay. And it used how? Oh wow, Electric did good. And it was cool. Okay, this could be a problem. Bolt might be able to actually do his little cool performance dance. And that would suck. Alright, we'll use wing attack. Maybe he'll do light screen. That's a beauty attack. Oh, we're gonna do it! Awesome! Use wing attack! Oh yeah, look at that! Four stars? Oh, what's that? The coolness really excited the audience? Oh, what are you gonna do, Ball Buster? <laughs> yeah. Coolness is rating from Ball Buster nonstop. Time for Incredible Shining Road! Apparently my bird can run really fast. Yeah, I don't get it either. It's, it's more of a running type Pokemon than a flying type, if you ask me. Okay, so what's Makuhita gonna do now? Arm thrust again, huh? Okay. Oh, he didn't stand out, so now he's doing pretty well. What you gonna do, Ailster? Aerial Ace, huh? I don't think that actually has, like, um, a quick attack ability to it, so... I don't really know. Alright. Well, when in doubt, use quick attack to stay kind of ahead of everyone else. What I'm going to guess is going to happen is the Makuhita is not going to do a cool attack. Failster is probably going to use double team. And then the Electrike will probably also try to do like Howl or something. Oh, it, oh, wow, Makahita, you suck. <laughs> you know Echoed Voice, that's my thing. Oh. You just screwed up my whole plan. But at least Bolt did try to do Hal, so I was right about that. Hmm. Pretty cool. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Let's see. So that means I'll be in second place. Oh no, I'm in first. Oh, great. Um, yeah, I don't want to give it to the other Taylo. So I'm really wondering what I can do. Hmm. I guess I'll just go a wing attack. Let's just go a wing attack. If Electric manages to do it, you know, it's it's fine because I don't know. It had to be doing Hal again. Light screen. That's not pretty cool, bro. Oh, this is okay too. She only did like yeah. So she's going to get it. But, like, she used freaking Double Team as the one that sets it off, so it's not really going to go that high. Oh, look at that! Her Tailster's going to do it, too! Ball Buster did it better, though. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. It's so much move, it didn't even move that much. Okay, let's see. What are you going to do, Makumaku? Are you going to fail again? Oh, he did pretty good. Okay. But we're complete. So let's see how the results tallied out. You guys ready? Here are the results. In fourth place. Maku Maku. Third place Camden and Bolt. 
Second place, Johnny and Tailster. In third place, Caveman and Ballbuster. Or did I say in first place? That's what I meant. But that was actually a really quick, uh, pretty close contest. We could have lost. We could have lost, but we didn't. So we're good. Congratulations! Caveman's Pokemon performed the best. Next time, you can enter your Pokemon in the Super Rank of the Coolness contest. Cool. Be sure to enter the next rank too. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, by the way, someone seems to be waiting for you in the green room. Right over there. Oh, we're gonna get Cosplay Pikachu now. After Lysia shows up. Caveman, wow, grats. I watched it all, you were great. Oh, yeah. I really did it, a star is born. That's what I'm calling it. Caveman, you gotta keep up this pace and just go as far as you can go. Become a real contest star. If you could have as much fun with contest spectacular as me, I'd be as happy as Slugma on a sunny day. You could become a massive star. I've got a good feeling about you. <laughs> Where's Cosplay Pikachu? I want Cosplay Pikachu. Where is it? Caveman, stop. I want to battle you. What? A battle? Oh, truth is, I'm not all that hot at battles. But don't you worry, I'll get to take you on in a contest someday. Whatever, you don't battle. You're not worth my time, Lucia. I'm out. There we go. Hi, have you got a minute? I just saw this fun test spectacular. Your costume in the contest suited you perfectly. Your look inspired me. I rushed out and created a matching costume for a Pokemon. I know a very fashion conscious Pikachu called Cosplay Pikachu, and I let her wear the costume. Cosplay Pikachu is a special Pikachu. It's very, very, very fashionable, and any costume looks fantastic on the Pikachu. You really, really, really stand out if you go on stage wearing matching costumes. Thanks. I got a Pikachu. Would you like to give your Cosplay Pikachu a nickname? Yes. Uh... It's a girl, Pikachu, so I'm going to name it Frank. <laughs> there we go. We got a Pikachu named Frank. We added Frank to the team. I'm making costumes for cosplay spectacular. They're awesome. I don't even know what she's saying anymore. So just drop by the resting room to change your Pikachu's stupid costume. Whatever. Thanks for the Pikachu, though. And the sad part is, well, it's not that much stronger. Look at Frank. Isn't she amazing? Look at her punching the air. And doing like a... Rawr. <laughs> well, guys, that was it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we're going to save right here. And yeah, I'm sorry that it took so long to get to the next episode. But we're here. We're going to keep on going. We're not going to stop until we beat the Elite Four. Maybe even save the planet from an incoming asteroid. I mean, I don't know that. That's, that's in the future. But I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.